Now, like many rock stars, Manny, the bassist from the Stone Roses, has never been afraid <laughs> to say what he thinks. And now that's something he's using to his own advantage following his wife Imelda's bowel cancer diagnosis. Together, they are getting their game faces on, as Manny puts it, to raise money, awareness, and do what they can do to eradicate the disease. I'm pleased to say Imelda and Manny join us this morning. Morning to you. Morning. morning. Hi, morning. Imelda, how are you doing? Um, I'm quite well at the moment, yeah. I've had a little break from chemo for a few months mm. and I've just had uh, some radiation treatment. So we're just waiting to see what the outcome of that will be. Yeah, and we were just discussing a little earlier, it's the waiting, isn't it? And, and the kind of the worrying that's the yeah. hardest part in all of this. But I know what you're trying to do as part of this charity fundraiser is raise awareness, isn't it, Manny? That's the most important thing here. Yeah, do you know, unless you've had this disease visited on you, you just really, really couldn't comprehend the uh, the weight of it on, on, on a family or, you know, I couldn't put myself in your position and, and, and speak for how it is for you, but it's really, really difficult. So we just want to let people know what's out there, you know, the various charities that we're, we're looking for and the Maggie's Centre at the, the, the Christian stuff that helps families out and stuff. So, yeah, there's a lot of message to put out there to people. So what, what, are, you, what are you doing right? and where's the money going? Well... Oh, come on. Come on. Uh, it's going to the Christie Charity and Stockport NHS Charity as well, which is a small charity that not a lot of people know about. And they sort of saved my life back in February 2021 with emergency surgery. Oh, wow. So um, we'd like to put a little bit back to them. And the more I found out about them is they actually do research into cancer themselves there as well, as well as some of the community-based projects. Um, and your first diagnosis with bowel cancer was 2020, yeah. wasn't it? Mm. Were there signs, symptoms? What made you go and there get There was checked? little bits of signs, but quite late on. Right. Mm. Um, this I, is the thing, isn't it, with bowel cancer? It's yeah. often quite late stage before people realise yeah. they've got it. There was a little bit of bleeding, a bit of bloating. You sort of put it down to other stuff mm -hmm. when your stomach's a little bit off. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't really feel ill or anything like that. I did feel a little bit more tired which I just put down to other things, really. Um, and if people could go before that, because the symptoms are really late, and if you do feel like anything is a little bit off, I wish I'd have gone a few months before, because yeah. I knew something wasn't quite right, and I just kept on putting it to, down to other things. Mm -hmm. And if I'd have gone a little bit earlier, maybe eight or nine months earlier, I might have had a different outcome to what I've got now. But, um, and yeah. what are they telling you about the prognosis, and what's the treatment involved for you? So, um, obviously, I've had chemo, mm -hmm. I've had part of my bowel removed um, and part half of my liver. So, I am quite have a very positive mindset that I'm going to get through this. And I think that is a, a massive challenge to get your head around it. And it does help with your outcome. Mm. So, we don't know what the outcome will be. We're just going to keep on fighting it as and when <clears throat> things arrive and just uh, try and live our lives. And you can live your life with it. I didn't think you could at first. But sort of something changes in you and you can go on to lead yeah. a life and hopefully for a, quite a long time. So you're doing this big charity auction, aren't you? Um, Manny, what, have you, what, what are the things that have come in? Well, what, what have you got your eye on? I've shamelessly cast the net out amongst <laughs> all of my friends from football, music, uh, the chefs. So people like David Beckham has, has donated his very pair of boots that he wore in his very last game when he retired for PSG. Yeah. Uh, Noel Gallagher's donated a six platinum disc for What's the Story, Morning Glory. I've had gold discs off Paul Weller, Johnny Marr. I've had signed guitars from the Foo Fighters, The Who, uh, the Arctic Monkeys. There's loads of chefs, uh, you know, michelin star chefs have given up days in the kitchen with them and a bit to be taught and tables with match wines and it's amazing. There's holiday to the Maldives. Uh, a Vespa scooter has <laughs> been kindly donated by a friend of mine. Uh, I might even put myself up for a, a night on the lash with me. Might uh, bring a few <laughs> quid in as well, yeah. That makes quite a few, a few bit is. Yeah. Um, and the point of this is money and it's awareness. And, and yeah. that's why it's so important to talk about it, isn't yeah. it? Of the more people that know about this, how they might get treatment, <clears> how they might be able to get checked out early on. And in your case, as you said, you wish you'd gone a bit earlier. Yeah. Of yeah. course, yeah, and whatever we can raise, just so that it raises awareness for bowel cancer and also for the charities involved for the, what they actually do mm. and the research and the community-based projects and also, um, 
you know, the counselling and stuff that you need. It's so important that, isn't it, that the, the mental burden or the mental cost, not just for the person going through all the chemo, but for the wider family as well. It, yeah. It's one of those things that people don't really necessarily think about is the sort of the mental load that all of you take <coughs> on yeah. during all of this wait and time. I think the maddest thing for us has been to try and shield our kids from it and try not to give too much away and just try and keep a, a little thread of normality going through it, you know, when it's like being a, a swan in it, you're all beautiful and graceful on the top and everything's going nutty mm. underneath. So you've got to try and keep that, keep the normality going for everybody else's sake. It's, a, it's not panic people and it is, it is difficult, but we're doing our best, you know. And to be honest, we've been honest with the children as well, because yeah. they're at an age where they do understand it and it's going to probably be more prevalent in, in their lifetime. Yeah. So it's good that they know about it at an early age, mm -hmm. that these things can happen. Yeah. Good luck with all the treatment. Thank you. Um, and I know, you know, it's a really important event, isn't it? But thank you for talking about it, thank because that is such an important okay. part of this battle, isn't That's it? Um, thank you, Imelda Manny. Thanks thank for you very much. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Now, uh, this is the one fundraising night will be held at the Kimpton Clock Tower Hotel on the 18th of November. The online auction is going to take place at the Adam Partridge Auctioneers website until the 1st of December. Some great lots in that auction, mm. as Manny was telling us.